What's up guys? This is Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by Vapor. And today I'm doing a review of Segeli's new 150 watt device with temperature control. I gotta say, if Batman had a vape, this would be it. It's a nice black matte finish. It's got the curves like you're used to seeing on the new Batman Arkham Asylum armor. Um, it all around just feels awesome and it performs great. Check this out. You got 150 watts to play with, not in temperature control mode, and you have 100 joules to play with in temperature control. So I know you guys are dying to see this thing up close and personal, so let's go ahead and cut to the close up and check out the Segeli 150 watt temperature control device. So here we have the Segeli 150 watt temperature control device. This whole body is an aluminum alloy, so extremely sturdy. And it's got this black matte finish that makes it resistant to fingerprints, but also gives it a little bit of a grip. The 510 connection is a copper spring-loaded pin. We have battery vent holes on the bottom. Nice little Segeli logo. And the battery door is magnetic, so you just kind of slide this out two big magnets on the top and bottom, and the batteries are hooked up in series. As you can see, positive goes down here, and negative goes down there. And this device will fire down to 0.1 ohms. Let me go ahead and pop my tank on here, and I'll show you guys how to navigate the menu. And as you can see, the diameter of this device is just slightly bigger than 24 and a half millimeters. So if you have a larger tank like the TFV4, it is gonna fit perfectly on the Segeli 150 watt. So to get in the menu, what you're gonna do is hit the firing button five times. And now by pressing the firing button, you'll go to the next menu option. Now to change any of these, you're just gonna hit the up or down arrow. So if we wanna exit the menu, we go to exit and hit up or down, and now we're back. Back into the menu. If we wanted to turn the system off, go to system on off, we hit up, system off. Turn it back on with five clicks. Little Segeli logo. Here we are. Now to take it in and out of temperature control, you're gonna to go to mode, and right now we're in joule. That means temperature control. If you hit up, it'll go to power. Now if we go to exit, we'll be in watts. So let's go back to the menu, because we are using a nickel build in this TFV4, and we'll go to joule. Now when we hit the firing button, it'll go to units of our temperature. We can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'll leave it in Fahrenheit. And we can adjust the temperature. Now the one downside to this is I have to go into this menu to change my temperature. I can't just do it on the fly. But it's not a big deal. I find 420 is a nice spot for this tank. So I'll go ahead and exit. And now we can adjust our joules. And this will go up to 100 joules. And it kind of moves pretty slowly, so I'm going to speed this up. And there we are, 100 joules. We'll go all the way back down. My preferred vape is 40 joules with this device. And always make sure once you pop on your nickel tank or RDA, press and hold the fire up, fire down button to set your resistance. 0.106. That way, now it knows what that coil reads at at room temperature, so it can accurately measure your temperature. So that's it, there's not much else to it. That's the Segeli 150 watt with temperature control. Absolutely in love with this device. So that's the Segeli 150 watt with temperature control. And I gotta say, to be honest, this is my favorite temperature control mod on the market right now. I love the fact that I can take the batteries in and out. I don't have to be near a USB charging port like I do with my Evic VT. Great device, I love that one too. But in terms of functionality and being able to go out and not have to worry about my batteries dying, I can just have two ready to go. 
The one thing I'm not the biggest fan of is I'm so used to being able to adjust my temperature on the fly. And with the Segeli 150, I kind of have to navigate a menu to change it five degrees. But that's not a huge deal, because once I find the temperature I'm looking to vape at, I don't really adjust it that much. And I can adjust the joules on the fly, which is nice. Well, this has been Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. Have a great day, guys.